Are you nervous? Oh yeah, certainly. No, I am nervous. Um, it's, I'm always nervous around people, though. This morning, I called Bob and Janny Bergdahl and told them that after nearly five years in captivity, their son Bo is coming home. I, I believe his exact words were, Bob, Janny, we have him. <laughs> I'm Sean Langan, a filmmaker and journalist. I was held for four months by the Haqqani Network, close allies of the Taliban. So I understood what Bo meant when he later said, every second in captivity feels like an eternity. Bo Bergdahl was America's only POW in its long war in Afghanistan. He was held by the Taliban for five years before being freed in a controversial prisoner swap with five Taliban held at Guantanamo. Following his release in 2014, Bergdahl became a target for extraordinary claims by some sections of the US media. We lost six Americans looking for a what is a deserter. That not only was he a deserter, but they also say that he might have been collaborating with the enemy. 30 years ago, he would have been shot. And people are tired of it. The people who want to hang me, you're never going to convince those people. The people who are to the point of saying, yeah, just shoot them. You, you can never convince those people to change their minds. They have so vilified, I, I would even say demonized, yeah. my family. If America hates me for getting my son back, well then fuck them. Brought home by one president and called a traitor by the next, Bo Bergdahl was charged with desertion and endangering the lives of his fellow soldiers. He's now become one of the most vilified men in a deeply divided America. But what is the truth behind all the allegations against him? And where did they come from? And what really happened to him during his time in captivity?